I sometimes wonder why anybody talks about anything else, because this is the most interesting topic there is. Where do we come from? How did we get here? What brought us into existence? What is our relationship to reality as a whole? You look at the incredible diversity and complexity of life, and inevitably the question arises, what brought all this into existence? Was it simply chance and necessity, undirected natural forces? Or is there something else going on? Is there a purpose, a plan, a design? I think that is the fundamental question. For more than a century, one explanation for the origin and diversity of life has dominated scientific thought. It is based on a theory born in the mind of a British naturalist. His name was Charles Darwin. In 1831, Darwin, then 22 years old, set sail on a five-year survey expedition for the British Empire. He journeyed from England on the HMS Beagle, traveling around the southern tip of South America, then north toward a chain of volcanic islands in the Pacific called the Galapagos. On this desolate archipelago, 600 miles off the western coast of Ecuador, Charles Darwin encountered an extraordinary array of birds, reptiles, and mammals, the likes of which he had never seen before. For more than a month, Darwin studied plant and animal life, took extensive notes, and collected specimens. Then he left, never to return. 25 years passed as he developed a theory about how the diverse forms of life on Earth had originated. In 1859, Darwin published a book titled On the Origin of Species. Its impact on science and ultimately all of Western culture was dramatic. Darwin argued that all life was the product of purely undirected natural forces, time, chance, and a process